Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to the set. Hey, I appreciate you stopping in. Today, we're gonna season up Lowe's exclusive model 2230 culinary 36 inch cabinet griddle with side table. Y'all, I love the looks of this griddle, the color, the knobs, the cabinet, all the little bells and whistles, trash can holder, paper towel holder. There's also some other goodies I'm gonna tell you about little bit later on. First and foremost, before we start cooking on this thing, we gotta get it seasoned up. And I'm gonna show you how I like to season my griddles. That's some good groceries. Before we even get the seasoning started, we wanna make sure our top is nice and clean. So what I like to do is come in with some Dawn Power Wash and some warm water and just take a grill brick and just run across the top of here. You want to get at this, you want to put a little elbow grease in here. Act like it owes you a little bit of money. Not a lot of money, but just, just a little bit. Enough where you can just kind of take out a little bit of aggression. There's no right or wrong way with this, guys. Again, you're just trying to get some of this shipping oil off of this Blackstone. Now we're going to just rinse this off. All right, now you just want to clean up all your water. So this top, y'all, this is a brand new top just introduced. This is what Blackstone's calling the omnivore griddle plate. What this griddle plate brings to the market is best in class thermal stability, very even heat distribution, and built-in wind guards. You don't have to add things onto the side for wind guards. There's wind guards built into this thing. This griddle plate heats up faster, maintains cooking temperatures more effectively, faster heat recovery. So whenever you put a piece of meat down, it recovers a lot faster. And one of the things a lot of people is gonna enjoy is even heat distribution. And we're gonna see that here soon. Whenever we season it, we're gonna see how this thing seasons up, okay? All right, now let's get this top nice and dry. We're gonna get the griddle going. We wanna make sure the top is nice and dry before we apply that first round of seasoning. Now that your top is nice and dry from the initial cleaning, Let's turn this off and we're gonna let it cool down just a little bit. Once the griddle has cooled down, not entirely, there's still some warmth here. Now we're gonna take some of this Blackstone griddle seasoning and cast iron conditioner. You can get this at Lowe's. I like to use a white terry cloth to apply my seasoning. Just works better for me. Just make sure you get one that doesn't have a lot of lint or lint free. The idea here is to get nice, even thin coats. And that's what the terry cloth helps do. We've applied the first coat and I wanna emphasize really, really thin. A lot of people make a mistake of putting a lot of oil on here and it pulls. It doesn't bond the best to the top. That's why you get flaking, that kind of thing. The idea is to have nice thin layers and multi layers. We got the griddle on high now. It's gonna start getting the top nice and heated up. It's gonna start polymerizing, which means the oil starts burning off, start layering that seasoning on, okay? This process is gonna take 10, 15 minutes. You stop basically when it stops smoking. Hey, I appreciate you watching thus far. Hey, if you don't mind, hit that like button and hey, leave me a comment too. I'd love to interact with you. All right, this first coat is done. The top is not smoking anymore. That tells me everything we lay down is polymerized, good to go. One thing I want to tell you, I've seasoned a few griddles, probably not as much as Todd Tobin, but I've seasoned many griddles. And a lot of the older plates, this tells you about the omnivore plate. I'm seeing a lot more polymerization here on this front, over here on the sides. That tells me it's heating better all around. So you have a lot more effective area to cook on. So I just really wanted to note that. I really, really like where, where I'm seeing this, uh, this blackening of the oil, okay? I'm gonna let this cool for maybe 10, 15 minutes, uh, not fully cooled. And then we're gonna lay another layer of seasoning down and we're gonna let that burn off. So after our first season, our griddle top, it is cooled down to enough where it's not extremely hot. And the reason I do this is so that when you put more seasoning down, it don't immediately start polymerizing. It allows it to disperse. Again, lay that thin coat. Then we cut the burners on. All the oil polymerizes kind of at the same time, all right? So that's where I differ from a lot of people. I do like to cool the griddle top down before I apply each coat. It's warm enough, we can spread this around. I like to kind of get down just to make sure nothing is pulled up. Burner's on high again. We're gonna let the griddle come up to temp. It's gonna start polymerizing this coat, coat number two. 
Coat number two, wow, this is blackening up very nicely. This top really distributes the heat very well. The seasoning has adhered to the top pretty much left to right, top to bottom. Cut the burners off. We're gonna let it cool down for a little bit. We're gonna add seasoning number three. The griddle top has cooled down to where it's a little bit more manageable. Now, coat number three. Coat number three is done now. And man, look at this top. Very, very nice coloration from top to bottom. So three good coats down. That's perfect. So what I do is after I cook next time, just clean it really good, apply another thin layer, let that burn off. You just keep on building, building on that seasoning. That's how I've done all my griddles over the years. So I'm gonna let this cool for about 10, 15 minutes. I have some cooking spray that I'm gonna spray onto the griddle top in just a thin layer. So when we fire this up next time, we're gonna be ready to go. Hey, thanks for sticking around watching the way I season my griddles. I hope you learned something from it. There's many ways to do this. It really, there's, there is some wrong, but many people have good points on what they do and how they do it. And that's okay. Hey, head on over to the Blackstone Network where you'll find many more recipes and seasoning techniques just like this.